Can I ask if someone else would like to do recap? Uh, let's see. We we fought. Um, we fought the the T Rex lady because she was a bitch, and then she's dead now. She's a dead bitch. Oh well, I want her to be dead because she was a bitch. Uh, but she's not. She's alive. And And Maple has teleported us to elsewhere. So now we shall uh, return. We made it back to Mirai. We made it back to Mirai. We shall give the priest to Raymond and say, check it out. Go do your shit. And we're going to live our best lives. I want to, I want to point out some things that, that happened during the fight that were awesome. One, I got to fight a T-Rex. Uh, two, uh, apparently, <laughs> apparently priests of Mirai to have, have, uh, pay to play tactics. They can, they can, they can, instead of, you know, in, instead, <clears throat> instead, yeah, Temple of Lou, they, they, they got, they, they got the, they got the good, they got the good shit. So so I got so I got hasted as well I think so I was like mm -hmm. a really no 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 maple maple was hasted that's right oh yeah you're yeah I I got I got big she got fast which is appropriate yeah. honestly <laughs> maple did like circles around the T Rex for no reason other than you know I'm at twice she could I mean Skyler has haste if if if, if you rather be hasted than enlarged I can make some changes. <laughs> You can do both. Aren't they concentration? You can make your homunculus do one and make the make you do the other one. Yeah, T Chan. Yeah. Do I don't think you can. Yes, you I... can. T Chan. T Chan is a That's creature that can, that can manipulate objects. Nash. Damn. That's yeah. That that is broken as hell. All right. Have fun. <laughs> All right, I guess we're having a monk and a barbarian hasted at all times. Well, well, that's that's what you're supposed to do with the item, right? The 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 the, the infused item is you're supposed to give it to somebody else and then they use it, right? But that they, that is an option, yes. Yeah, but they didn't think the they didn't think the homunculus or the familiar part through because anything can use the 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 thing so long as they can have the action to cast essentially so yeah in another game i play i i have uh, the artificer just gave me uh, gave me shatter and i use them i i i flavored it as i just have a bunch of grenades in my pocket <laughs> I got hit once with my own sh with my own shatter, and they all went off, and I almost died. Oh no! <laughs> anyway, yeah, we yeah. made it to Mirai. We 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 made it, guys. We did it. Do you guys remember all the stuff you had to do? We have a list. No. We have a list. We got a no. Fuck! I'm not at my house, but I don't have I don't have my list. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna. All right. All right. All right. I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna go through a quick list. All right. So, uh, one deliver deliver priest of Lou to Raymond. Two, uh, 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 do do the thing about the dad and stuff. Uh for maple uh three uh 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 that's all i got well, what we else have, do we, we have, have to, to do here well we have to take priest priest bro to the place and protect him so mm -hmm. no one fucks with them right yeah. we have to scope out uh hector's apartment next to Deathel ethel yes if we want mm -hmm. um and uh, 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 interrogate this bitch now. Um, uh, probably check in with Istis also and introduce Skylar to her. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, Skylar, here's our I, god. I don't know Sup, if god you lady. wanted to do anything with Maple's sister. Oh, yeah, Maple's sister. Uh, okay, yeah. okay, here's the... Here, no, I here's the question. Here's a here's a question. <clears throat> question. Did we find out if she's okay or not? Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's she was she, she she's being she's being Yeah, it's, it's Cypress is here, Mariah, trying to and I think she's I think he's going out of his way. Like they're the the you and you your dad and him are working together to make sure that things go their way. And and Cypress is supposed to be like he has some kind of agreement and is supposed to be the one to stop us question mark we're not sure about the actual specifics of it but one could one could gander and guess <sighs> if we, mm -hmm. we were planning mm -hmm. on never leaving mr luke Priest, completely man. alone yeah I'll pro I'll pro I'll run the protection racket with him. You know, I'll keep him. I'll keep the I'll keep the, all the women's off of him as they fangirl towards him. <laughs> so stay away, bitches. <laughs> this man's a virgin. Back <laughs> off. <laughs> you don't want that work-life balance, honey. Go away. Uh, he totally would get taken advantage of someone looking for a sugar mama. Mm -hmm. Daddy? You're right. I said mama for some reason. Yes. Sugar daddy. I could use a sugar daddy. Are, are you talking about you, Chris? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, Look, I'm broke right now. Okay, I want some money. <laughs> that's that's great, Chris. <laughs> I love uh, I I, I love <clears throat> with all my heart. I just need money right now. Yeah, go for it. Bills are due. Okay. Um, but uh, okay. Where did we come out of? You are now in the Avon building in Mirai, so you are in the lower reach. Okay, cool. Oh, also, just a reminder, uh, the last time you guys were in Mirai, mm -hmm. one, you guys have Nick on you. Mm -hmm. Two, uh, the last time you were in Mirai, there were some protests going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, because essentially when that big storm had rolled through, uh, the lower reach got kind of like really destroyed and the upper reach did not help at all. Uh, -huh. uh, you guys also did not help with the efforts, uh, to fix up the city, which was noted by, uh, several people. I'm saying this now because you will see news articles and stuff about this as you guys uh, go through the course, city of course of course um and oh and don't forget that uh felix is in jail right now for killing his dad for being a bitch which one's felix the orange tiefling that has a grudge against uh has a grudge against quinn is that the Wish one that was... kept punching him? What'd you say? Go, Marissa. Sorry. There was some shit with that, though. Don't we think, like, that's intentional? Like, he's in jail to do a thing? Like, it's a setup I mean, to some degree? He did not fight at all against getting arrested. Yeah, like, this is, this is fishy. He murdered his dad in broad daylight in the middle of the street. Yeah, and just this, waited this, to be arrested. This stinks. I don't like it. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Let's uh. Let's see. Let's see what. Let's see what horrible shit awaits us. 
kind of yeah. hop through the hop through the tree, come out the other side, lady on my back. Are we sure yeah. I can't keep this keep this one? <laughs> what? What does that <laughs> even mean? It's Do like you a. Want to keep fighting her as a T Rex? Yes. Uh. No. Oh. Does anybody know any druids that turn into T Rexes? Uh, well, any druid that can. I mean, that's a, fucking rad, right? <laughs> a point of order. Uh, first off, Chris, you know that uh, dinosaurs are only in the wildlands. Yeah. Two. Uh, you did come out, and there's like people around you. Just a reminder. Mm -hmm. Uh, you have people who are currently giving magic, uh, along with several druids. Uh, Jamie, is Jamie back yet or no? I'm gonna go with a no. I think that's a no. Um, While he's coming back, why don't you go get your food, Alicia? Yeah, give me one second, because something's gonna happen that you guys came back through. Okay. Oh no, do I have time to use the potty? Yes. Yeah, go, go for it. Okay, I'll be swift. <laughs> be swift. Yeah, uh, everyone. Marissa just went to the bathroom. To... And we're grabbing food real quick. Well, I'm glad I caught that when I did. My mic wasn't recording on the re on the recording. Rip. Good, because I think we were hearing you. Yeah. It just... OBS deleted a lot of my settings while I was gone, so I had to fix right. a job. lot of shit. <laughs> it good was job, not good. good. One of them was not registering my microphone. LOL, what's this? Literally. Molten lava. Yeah? Yep. What you got? Pot pie. Lava. Yeah. Lava. Some people say lava, and some people say lava, and it's a very regional-based thing. Apparently. It is. I think I used to say lava. But now I say lava. Man, that's hot. So while we were gone, my dad was taking care of the cats and himself. So my mom got a bunch boy. of, uh, just stick it in the oven, mm. reheatable meals, right? One of them was pot pie. So now that we're back and neither my mom nor me wants to cook, I'm just eating them because I'm sick and I don't want to feel, I don't, I don't want to cook. Reasonable. And they're decent. Are the Swanson ones? Uh, no, they're different ones. The there's there's definitely a product like that that I know of. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Uh, there's these, and then there's, like, little lasagna ones, and I like the lasagna ones oh, better. little lasagna. Yeah, they're like little... Tiny lasagna. They're like a piece of lasagna that you put in the oven. And, like, this is like a, like a small pie. Personal pie. And it's, like, 90% crust. <laughs> well, if it's buttery enough, it doesn't matter, does no, it? No, it's good. It's just a lot of bread. Definitely with Sorry, we are slowly but surely succeeding at making a bowl of potatoes. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> I'd rather have the bowl of potatoes right now than not. I might pause the recording until we're ready to go. The the less Alicia has to talk, the better. True. All right. So as you guys all emerge, um, you know, people kind of look over like, what the fuck? Because, you know, you guys did suddenly appear there. Yeah, and as you guys are kind of looking around, um, 
Maple, a couple of the druids uh, that you know at this point, because, you know, you've worked yeah. with them a bit, you know, all of you guys kind of banded together to help the vine when uh, <clears throat> when the king started moving. Yep. And they kind of, like, they look at each other a bit worried, and they come up to you, and they say, uh, <clears throat> um, they're like, oh, you, they're like, Maple, you, you're here, um, I'm, I'm sorry, you need to go, uh, like, now. Why? Um, There's, and she kind of like looks to the others like a bit nervous and she says, there's been a memo that's been sent out. Is about it from my dad? Yes, that he took back control of the company. Uh, right now he has you banned from all of the buildings and if they catch you here, we are supposed to turn you over to the authorities as trespassing. Well, he can try fucking catching me. He didn't see me here. No, like, and, and like, you can tell she is very clearly not trying to get you in trouble. Mm -hmm. Like, she, she, it seems a bit nervous, and she says, uh, "If you head out through that door, there's a service exit in the back. You should be able to get out of uh, without running into any guards." Uh, well, Nadinia Maple has the girl, right? <clears throat> uh huh. Mm hmm. You kind of, she just kind of nods her head, drop her in the corner, I guess. <laughs> Dean is like holding the woman, looks over at the corner, and she's like, just goes over the corner and just kind of gestures to it, like, right here? Yeah. You sure? Yep. One of the girls looks at her. She's like, what's Avila doing with you guys? Oh, she was supposed to transport us here, but instead put us in the buttfuck middle of Blizzard Town. So I had to get us here instead. I'm not happy with her. Why was us. she in Echo? She works in the... the. Or I'm sorry. Why was she at... Taros. Uh, Taros. She works in the Echo Division. Yeah. Figured that out pretty oh, fast. Echo, stop! <laughs> Every time, it's so funny. Sorry, go ahead. She was there specifically to fuck us over. They kind of nod. <clears throat> and they're like, I was in training with her uh, when I went down to uh, the country that cannot be named. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she had like a weird crush on Omadon, uh, Lord Avon. That's disgusting. Yeah, I, I told her she might want a different business profession. But any, anyway, I'm sorry. You you really do need to to head out. Thank you for the warning. We. We won't cause trouble here again until we take care of him. She nods and she says, uh, Yeah, it's, you know, you, as far as we're concerned, I mean, this is, she points to the plant, this is you. But I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it kind of is me. So, take care of yourselves. Don't get into serious danger. And if it gets dangerous, run. She nods. And yeah, you guys are free to head out. Athena's in the corner and she's put her against the wall, like sitting up. And she like slowly starts backing away and then <laughs> goes back and starts fixing her hair. And like <laughs> setting her properly. <clears throat> Alex, I don't think you came through. Nadine, you're being creepy. But it, no, she's it, it's fine. She she just needs a little. She just it, it's fine. It it it, it just because just because she it, she tried to kill us doesn't mean she shouldn't look her best. Okay, let's just 
just <laughs> we have to go, Nadine. But it's it, it'll. Uh, she looks like shit minutes. no matter what. No matter what you're gonna do, she looks like shit. But I can help. I can help. Okay, I'll let it go. I'll let it go. Thank I'll let you. It go. I'll let it go. I'll let it go. Don't look, Nadine. It's not bad. It's not bad. She doesn't deserve to bad. look her best. She tried to kill you. She has so many, like, frayed ends in her hair. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> let me so just, many just, split just, ends. Just, 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 let me just brush a little bit, okay? Just, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. You know, I bet just, if we tied her to the back of my wheelchair, I could just drag her. That being Nadinia, not the woman. I don't give a shit about her. <laughs> Fine, no, I'm looking away. I've looked away. I've looked away. Just can I just like grab Nadinia by her midsection and just like like pick her up and like bridal style carry her out the fucking room? Like I'm done. We don't have time for this. <laughs> Does Nadinia fight that? No, she's she she wants to, but she she's like she's just like in the Iris. You hear it just counting one, two, three. She four, like pushes five, like her head six, into her shoulder like it's seven, it's okay. It's eight, okay. It's nine, all best in now. Ten. One, I, two. I just <laughs> there's probably very so few times the Dina has been picked up since becoming an adult. Uh huh. <laughs> she's very big. <laughs> she's so big. Large. Hey, <laughs> Uh, I, I want to point out. It, I, I don't know. I don't know if you, it, it, I, I grew in size. So you're picking up a six foot ten woman. I am a strong arms. bitch. I don't know what I, to I didn't tell say you. you were it. I, didn't I have. Say you were it. I have a big strength. I'm. I, I'm, I'm a just strong it's bitch. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it's awkward. Have you ever tried to carry a very light table that's like that's like seven feet wide? My it's entire not, life, not... I'm fucking short. <laughs> Everything is big to me. Yes. It's not fun, is it? It's not. It's really not. <laughs> <laughs> it's just but... really annoying. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. So you guys uh, go ahead and head out. And you are in the wonderful soot-covered streets of Mirai. Uh, Woo, back home. Nick, Nick breathes in a big sigh of relief, and he's just like, ah. He's like, you know, the pollution in Terra smells different than the pollution here. It's not the same. I didn't notice. He kind of is like, I mean, you're from the upper reach. That's, you know. They have air purifiers up there. They have a what now? Ah, uh, yes. Ye old HVAC. <laughs> Air <Yep>. purifier. <laughs> HVAC. You, you uh, tell me the rich fucks wouldn't pay ma for magic air oh, cleansing? I, I have a question. What is the difference between the the the, the two pollutions? Is, what's the pollution here? Is it just like trash here versus like industry there? How many microplastics in the atmosphere? Um, what is mine? It's black. It's like mine pollution here. Yeah, a lot of mine okay. pollution here. I mean, part of this is just Nick being Nick. Yeah, yeah. Versus, t well, the the reason I ask is because Dania's senses are heightened. Yeah, are kind of ridiculous. Yeah. So, so like the moment she walks outside, she's just like. Oh, I've been breathing shit my entire life. <clears throat> yeah, it's more that, like, how to phrase this? Uh, the smoke in Taros is normally for things that are like, like engines, that kind of powered stuff. Whereas in Mirai, most of the stuff that's going to be producing your smoke is either stuff from the mining here or like. A lot uh, denser the coal and stuff that people burn for their like fireplaces mm -hmm. and such. Yeah, it's it's a lot denser here. So it would be like... sulfurous and sooty here and it would be more acidic there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Nadine when Nadine walks out and you know everybody starts talking about it, she takes in a deep breath like Nick is and then just starts hacking. Literally dies. <laughs> Ye old black lung. 
I mean, yeah, that's how his <clears throat> mom died. No, that's not. Yeah, that's that's, that's how his mom yep, died. Yep, that's how he died. No, no that's, uh. that's how I know she died. I know this because I have perfect memory. I remember that day. That's how she died. Yep. And nothing else. The only way that she could hey, in the room, as far as you know, that's way. how she exactly. died. Exactly. Hey, guys, think of it this way. Nick was probably already dead. True. Oh. I didn't want to think of it that way. Does Nick have rights? <laughs> Technically, no, because he <laughs> lives in Mirai. Mm-hmm. Also true. Oh, damn. <laughs> Social commentary. <laughs> so... Oh Dean is like, oh, God, it's it's so bad. Uh, uh, Would the air be dirty? So, as you guys, uh, you know, step out here, uh, the uh, Vincent, who's traveling with you guys, mm-hmm. I think you made him change into something more like... Yes. 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 It doesn't yeah. have any symbols on it. Mm-hmm. Loki. Uh, but... You he's see, also wearing my looks, winter coat. Yeah, he looks super enamored as he's looking around, and he pulls out a camera, like a big old timey camera. Oh, that's gonna oh get you. God. And he down. starts taking pictures. No, 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 <laughs> Vito, no, sorry, this is not. That's, no, that's gonna draw a live. No one has cameras here. There's like, it's the type that has like the super bright flashes oh, of light. Jesus. Up, up, when we get up, you can take plenty of mm-hmm. pictures, I'm sure. Oh. Not down here for now. Not okay. Yet. Not yet. Not yet. We'll, 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 we'll definitely... <coughs> okay, uh, we'll definitely get your pictures. No problem. We, we want you to go home with a souvenir. Just not right now. Sorry, I'm just really excited. I, I I I understand the feeling entirely. I felt the same way when I got the taros. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, let's 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 all just go. I'm probably going to draw the most attention. You guys go ahead and just you know, just go. All right. I mean, we have a literal pixie. Quinn's. Now. Qu- yeah, you have a fairy and Quinn's and in a, a wheelchair. In a wheelchair, yeah. <laughs> in the lower range. We're all just pretty, a bunch of little freaks. We all freaks. pretty stand I, I out. I think we should just get moving. Mm-hmm. Let's just go. We got the the all-white lesbians. Yep. <laughs> the all-white... <laughs> <laughs> That's a title. Write that person down. Who, Write that the down. only person who blends in as they are right now Kira. is Kira. And I'm a fucking wizard. Yeah. Oh my god. You're, all, you, you're the only normal. You're not coming through, one. Alex. Nick blends in because he looks true. Fun. He looks. Yeah, although he is pretty well known in the lower reach. Nick, you He'd can probably go home if clean you want. right now. Or you can come with us to the upper reach. It's whatever you want. Uh, Quinn kind of looks at you and he looks Nick. a little bit sad when you say that. And he's like, oh, yeah, I, I get it. Um,. No, I, you uh, could do that's either. That's all good. I'm just, okay. I'm just, it's I, all good. Uh, what someone says when it's not all good. No, he he definitely like. Out of frame. Nick can't lie. He's he's fucking like he's such a bad liar. <laughs> Nick can't lie. <laughs> like he he's got this puppy dog hurt face. I my guy. All I meant was you don't have to keep coming with us. I know we've dragged you around. If you want to come, you can. It's, I don't care. I mean, it's great. all right. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a busy guy. I got lots of, lots of irons in the fire. Stuff hey, going Quinn. down. Right. Connections. So if you have, people to meet. Can I see all of the irons you have in the fire? <laughs> no, they're really hot, Quinn. <laughs> With how much you've pissed off people in Echo, I think keeping Nick closer to you might be the smarter idea. Just so he doesn't take him as like hostage. All right, come on, buddy. Apparently. Yay, I'm a liability. You're not a liability. It's just better to have everyone in a fucking group right now. Good fuck, sorry. Liability. Liability. Sorry. 
He's like, it's okay. Um. Uh. Iris's girlfriend. <laughs> you forgot my name. Uh, Honestly, oh my there. god. That's. That's. <laughs> I, that's. I call that being even. That's fine. <laughs> Good enough. Let's just keep going. Pretend like that we don't exist and just keep <clears> moving, <throat> okay? Alright. So you guys go ahead and head up to the upper reach. Uh, as you are traveling, you see that there is still a lot of um damage to the lower like, you know, the lower reach from the, the storm. Uh there aren't any of like the food lines that there were when you guys left. Uh, but there's definitely still, like, people trying to recover from it. Um, most, before the storm, there was a lot of, like, you guys would get a lot of positive reactions when you were traveling around. Like, people would notice you and stuff. Um, I wouldn't say that you necessarily get negative reactions. Um, most of it is more just, like, people stop and stare at you guys. Uh, when you pass by, like, newspaper stands and stuff, um, you can see, like, uh, some of the frontline news, which is usually stuff talking about, like, uh, a lot of it is talking about the upcoming election. Uh, it looks like right now, uh, that Lord Cameron is in the lead by a pretty wide margin. Um, you also see... Uh, Maple stuff about your dad. He is a frontline news on the fact that he was uh, let out on bail. Mm -hmm. uh, and basically talking about how uh, it seems like the investigation has turned to not necessarily convicting him, but like it looks like they're now more trying to look into the people underneath him. Mm. Uh, thinking that it was done without his knowledge. Yeah. <clears throat> um help. Yeah. Uh other than that, there's not really too much that you see as like frontline news. Um those are like the two big stories going around right now. Uh but yeah, you guys head to the ferry. Uh there's no protesters anymore. Uh so you guys go ahead and head up without any incident. Uh, the Cardinal seems really excited to be on the ferry, and he does ask mm -hmm. if he can take pictures while on the ferry, because it's such a great view. Sure. Yeah, we're basically, yeah, go for <clears> it. it. It's mostly just, like, the shitty neighborhoods of down there where you might get jumped. Yeah. Whereas he tries to jump us, we'll just toss him overboard and call it a day. Jumped? Mugged. Yes. I mean, there's nothing Stolen wrong with... <laughs> oh, nothing wrong with being jumped. Man, I don't. I'm sorry. I am not caught up with the slang. <laughs> it's not even slang, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. Can you teach me more of these like Marai phrases? I'd love to get immersed in the local culture. Okay. I really don't uh, think it's just the, right. the, the internal <laughs> urge to teach him into, bullshit. I, I for go the next into great minutes. detail about it. <laughs> yeah, you guys just make up shit. Wait, yes. we need, we need <laughs> no. to come up with a good zinger right now. <laughs> no, don't I, make I'm up fighting shit. In, I'm fighting <clears throat> the internal urge of Quinn of three months ago to make up bullshit. And instead, I will teach him real slang with the knowledge that it will be hilarious when he tries to use, use it. it. <laughs> okay. Yes. It doesn't have it to be fake for it to be funny. Exactly. <laughs> I teach him all the pirate lingo. Okay, he is oh, very no. intrigued by this. Uh, but yeah, he takes the slurs. The uh, not the slurs. The, the <laughs> slang. Holy <laughs> wow! Start with the most problematic thing that can possible. <laughs> but yeah, I start with I start with all the slang. Yeah, he he fucking loves it. He's excited. He actually when when uh. When Quinn starts, he actually pulls out a notebook and starts writing it down. Nice. Uh, but yeah, you guys get to the upper reach. No problems. Uh, 
and you can head straight to the temple. People really don't. I mean, you guys get stairs, of course. Like, that's just a given. Uh, but you guys are free to head to the uh, uh, to the temple. Uh, you get there, and uh, it seems a lot... Split up. Once we get into... Mm. Okay. Uh, it seems a lot emptier when you come in for some reason. Uh, you're not entirely sure why. Uh, just seems like there's less people. You kind of walk by and you notice, like, uh, Iris, you would kind of notice this. Is like, it looks like there's some stuff that hasn't been uh, cleaned as frequently as it usually does. Oh, do we have fucking staff shortages? What the fuck, man? (laughs) People who walked out. Um, you see, like, there's areas that, like, would be dusted normally that look like they haven't in at least a little while. It's nothing, like, super noticeable. It's just, like, uh, not up to the standards that you would normally see. God damn it. I don't... (sighs) We haven't Alicia, been around. Played... <sighs> we haven't been around. I'm looking around. Like and then my then Nadine's face becomes a little horrified and she runs <laughs> off. All right. Well, we know okay. what Nadine's going to be doing for the rest of the day. She's running to the barn. Uh, you run to the barn. There is a cleric tending to the sheep, and uh, you see Comet is actually outside of the stable. Uh, he's on like this kind of makeshift harness mm-hmm. uh, that's attached to a chain, so that he can like run around and stuff without like getting loose. Yes. Okay. I go tackle my boy and 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 let him know that I am home. And then I'm going to, but I, and then I have to run off. I, I will, I will, I will let him know that I have to run off again. Okay. Comet is like super excited. And the mm-hmm. second you say you have to run off again, just big old, big old puppy eyes. Yes, I, I understand. I, I will, I will fight the urge to keep petting my, my, my big puppy and run, uh, run back to everybody. As you run, you hear him like whining and like straining against the harness and flapping his wings. And yes, I will be back. My big boy, you you, you are so strong. He starts making little noises. Stop. (laughs) I need to stop the shit. I need you to stop torturing me for five minutes. Maybe don't adopt pets and then abandon them. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Fine. No more pets for me. Is that See how long that lasts. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. All right. So Nadinia runs away and then, like, I feel like within maybe five minutes is right back. Yeah. I don't think that's too alarming, honestly. <laughs> no, but I definitely tease her for being like, oh, don't worry, leave the protection racket to me. Immediately disappears. Please. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> That's very in the DM. Yeah. first post immediately. <laughs> Look, okay, I had to make sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What if he had died? <laughs> what if Comet had died? Uh, then died. you wouldn't be able to bring her back. <laughs> like, uh-huh. we, could bring, we could bring the priest back. We are not resurrecting the priest of Lou <laughs> when we could just not let him die. <laughs> he raises a hand. He's like, I kind of would not like to be resurrected. <laughs> <laughs> he has a do not resurrect policy. My God. No, that's not the case. <laughs> Holy shit. I just said I don't want to die. <laughs> do not resurrect policy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Please, if I die, bring me back. <laughs> Okay, okay, Mr. 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 Priest Lou Vincent, sir, yes, I will. Priest, I am. Lou. I am now. Un, you are now under ninety-eight percent of my protection at all times. I'm uh, okay. 
I'm sorry, I devote 2% to counting in my head all the time. I I don't know how to react to that. Thank you. You're welcome. Weird. I'm surprised it's only 2%. I'm gonna text Maurice and just let him know that we're at the temple. <laughs> yeah, you uh, message him. Uh, he texts back. Uh, he's at Raymond's place right now. Do you want... He asks if you want them to come to you guys or uh, they can swing by and pick him up. Because essentially they have a press conference scheduled for like a little bit later in the day. Mm -hmm. So they want to talk to him to try to like go over stuff. I mean, if we're if we're safe here and this is our zone, I would rather them come <clears throat> here than parade this guy around anymore. I am pro they come here. Okay. We've got spaces they can use to have their chat, but Mhm. Mm yeah, I'll I'll text Maurice that. Yep. Uh he lets you know that they are on their way then. Thumbs up emoji. No. <laughs> but we do have a picture that we have been granted by God. So we can send pictures. <laughs> Here's and a picture of my thumb with a thumb. Selfie. That's honestly <laughs> better. Kind of oh my god. <laughs> I can imagine like a dad not knowing how to use emojis, so he just sends sends a picture to his kid of him putting a thumbs up in the camera. Dad, why is your oh, data god. so oh expensive? My god. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, uh yeah, it'll probably take them maybe like a uh, half an hour to an hour to get there. So, uh, did you guys want to talk to Istis? Did you want to go see the puppy that Nadinia continually abandons? Um, did you? <laughs> I, I wanted. I wanted to. I wanted to show Skylar around. Yeah. I get the want eventual to get the priest set up in like a guest room, essentially. Or abandoned again. Well, or our room, if that's what's necessary. Well, I mean, if, if the I priest could, would could... love to get a tour. Yeah, the, yeah. I, I'll give, I'll give them, I'll give them both the tour of the place. Okay. Uh, yeah, all you right. guys can also get him set up in the room. Mm -hmm. uh, you do see that it looks like, uh, <sighs> it looks like uh, someone had already like kind of set it up a little bit before you guys got there. When we get to the kitchen, I say I say to Skylar and Vincent, "All right, this is the trauma room. This is where all our trauma happens." In the, like I, I remember, you're with the priest. He's like mm -hmm. in the kitchen. Yeah, for some reason we have we have decided to anytime we have we a fight problem over with any with any any anyone, you know, we we do we do the group therapy, but it's like in this room <laughs> for some reason. I wouldn't question the the small amount of time I've been with this group. I'm not surprised. Well, I mean, think about think about it like this: uh, the, the 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 most unhealthy thing to do when you are going through large amounts of stress is to eat, and so we do that. I guess it's effective, like two birds with one stone. <laughs> I, I didn't say it was good. I just, <laughs> I just, I'm just letting you know that that's what we do. And then over here is our training room right here. This is where we go to make a make our room of uh, room of requirement training. Oh, I what? heard about this. It was designed by Victor Nemos. Yeah, I have no idea who that. Wait a minute. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this person? Oh, he's a very famous artificer back in Taros. <laughs> uh, he, famous. He basically hops between... Uh, no, he actually really is. Uh, okay. he, every several years, he hops between different uh, specializations. I think he gets bored with them. Uh, so a while back, he was really into uh, enchantments, specifically illusions. Uh, and I think he designed this. 
uh, right now he's on to uh, prosthetics. This is new line. It lifts, it, Nadine lifts up her leg, and then and oh, wow, and, you got a Nemo's said, original. And oh, that's said, right. Yeah. You're. A, he looks at you. She's like, "That's right. I saw you in a magazine." Oh, did you? How did I? I can't look? believe this man has had time to read a magazine. <laughs> Just now realized. He gets a healthy ten minutes a day for leisure reading. Oh God, this poor man. <laughs> what if he I wants know, to go to a movie? I, I understand his pain completely. Mother also made me do regimented train uh, reading. Uh, I mean, my mom doesn't do it, but <laughs> he's no, like, but yeah, the scheduler I... does. I mean, she's just you know doing what's best. Uh, but yeah, that's I remember seeing your uh, magazine article. It was really cool. Uh, I think it was an ad for the prosthetic line, the waterproof stuff. That is correct. I am um, his. I am his technical latest project. I don't know if I'm his latest anymore, but I was one of. Got a new free. I. I it didn't. It, it was a peg for a while. Oh well, that's quite the upgrade. Yes. Yes, it is. Anyways, yeah, this is where we where you can think of things, and then it becomes a room. Like, watch, I'll, I'll turn it into a beach. Turn it yeah. into a beach. <laughs> I guess my question is, do you turn it into the, like, lake beaches that you've been at? Or the very, very sad excuse for a beach uh, that you saw the sea elves live by? I think it's the sad excuse for a beach, probably. Because <laughs> yeah, that's think what like she's, a, she's so used to at this point. Yeah, it's it's like a rocky sort of bleak beach that you would see in a like drama about Maine or something. Mm -hmm. There's no sand. But yeah, he uh he nods and looks extremely impressed. He's like yeah, Nemos is one of the finest artificers that the city's ever seen. Probably even the whole, you know, world. I mean, sure. <laughs> Straight disagree. Skylar has never met this man immediately is offended by him. <laughs> Rightly so, too. I love Skylar's gonna have a shit list that's like, Michael? Whoever the fuck this Victor guy is. Yeah. <laughs> and then my dad. Yeah. So and then and then finally we have we have the the, the, the the yarn room. I don't actually know what it's called. Is the yarn guy down there? Uh you don't see him. Aw oh, man. You, you hear the mutterings. <laughs> Hey, yarn, yarn guy! Man. He's in the yarn. <laughs> he is the yarn. Lost in the yarn. <laughs> the yarn is a mimic. He has been eaten. He is the mimic. <laughs> yarn guy! <laughs> yarn guy, are you in here? No? If I, if I say no, will you leave? Ah, there he is. Well, you I do not see him. Yarn. <laughs> he... he can I can I just try to sniff him out? Sure. Yay. Go ahead, roll me a uh I guess a survival. Sniff check. Okay. Or perception. I'd allow either. Uh I'll just roll perception. Eighteen. Okay, uh, you can tell uh, that he is actually underneath the yarn stands. Kind of lean over. 
Oh, there you are. You drop. You something? have to like. You have to get on the ground to see him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you you look underneath, uh, and he you can't exactly tell what he's doing. It might be counting. It might just be like feeling the yarn. Mm-hmm. Uh, when he turns to look at you, you get like the, you know, like when you see, when you shine a light on a dog or cat and they have mm-hmm. like those like reflective eyes. That's what you see. And he says, "Don't touch my you yarn." Didn't lose him. And he, he like scurries away. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't worry about him. He, he don't describe he, a man moving as scurrying. I'm gonna describe it as scurrying. Okay. He, he's most he's mostly harmless. He just doesn't like people touching his yarn. Audibly hisses. I have no. the strange desire to take a piece of yarn now. Okay, if you do take a piece of yarn. Make sure that you let him know before you do, because for some reason he gets upset if you just start tar- start taking things. Yeah, just announce it; it'll be fine. Anyways, uh, there's that, and uh, You're not going to explain why you have a room full of yarn. Oh, uh, how to explain this properly? So, Istis's way of divination is through the threads of fate. And then she just kind of points around. Here it is! Oh, speaking of which, are these the threads of fate? That's no, 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 no. Looks no, no. at it like, <laughs> like, oh my no, god! No, no, representation, representation. Oh, metaphor. Yeah, this kind of thread at Walmart. <laughs> I speaking okay. of which, okay, the the creature man thing that lives down here would kill you. <laughs> uh, can I? Can I? Can I? Can I borrow? Can I borrow? Uh, some yarn, thread man. Yarn man. If Red you're man, worthy. Man of the <laughs> if I'm worthy? All right. What do I got to do this time? Thread chooses you. All right, cool. You Walks can just go ahead thread. and yeah. <laughs> Walks up to the thread and just starts taking some, some, some various threads. Mm-hmm. And uh, while we continue this, I'm going to start uh, doing more um, needling. Because the last time I tried to do some do some Weaver's Tool stuff, uh, uh, bad things were happening. What? I think you made beautiful art. Yeah, I did too for a little while. And then I looked down. All right. Uh, as you guys leave, you know, head out of the iron room, Skylar, can you roll me a perception? Perception. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you like pass by like a roll of yarn, you do see a hand come out trying to pickpocket you for the yarn back. I swat the hand away. You do. There's a hiss and it disappears. <laughs> I can hiss too. <laughs> <laughs> it retreats into the shadows. <laughs> half, I, I've I've half a mind to uh to hurl a hurl an acid splash in there now, but I won't because I'm kind. <laughs> Please don't do that. Those are the threads of fate, metaphorically. <laughs> These are the metaphorical threads of God. <laughs> I imagine that's like the, it, they they say they say for like religious reasons these are these are metaphorical. 
Not a psychopath. <clears throat> the threads of fate cannot solve any of your life's problems. Alright, you guys go ahead and head out. Uh, let's say by around this time, uh, both uh, will actually be th- a couple people. Um, so... Oh my god. I'm having such a brain fart. And Raymond? I'm going I'm going to die. No, not Raymond. Maurice. Maurice. I wanted okay. to call him Marcus. <laughs> I was gonna I, was... I literally had to go look his name up. Was that his I name? I could not think of it. Marcus. It was not, no, it was not Marcus. Okay. That's too no. easy it was to something remember. weird. It was really um, weird, yeah. Uh, it was like it was a deviation. So close. Yeah. It, it's then, lost to time. It's. I mean, it's still in the VODs, but yes. It's still in the VODs. <laughs> Maybe it was yeah, like Morant or something. Um, it was something that we ended up calling the Murrays. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's so it's um, Maurice, before, Raymond. Before they, they come in, though. I, I'd like to like search oh, the temple with my um, sea invisibility and make sure there's no scrying devices. Okay. Um, Sweeping you can definitely the premises. Do that. Uh, can you roll me an extra investigation? Sure. Mm-hmm. Six hundred. Perfect. So as you are like going around and kind of like double checking something, uh, you spot something kind of odd. So do you remember when you guys went through? And made sure to, like, fill in every single rat hole that you guys found. Yes. You find a new one. Fucking hell. God damn it. Is it an invisible rat hole or is it just a normal rat hole? No, it's just a normal rat hole. You don't find anything invisible. uh, But you do find that. And it's in, it is in, like, the pantry where it would make sense. All right. But you know, deep in your heart, it doesn't make sense. I mean, where's the dog, though? Um... True. Uh, well, I'm assuming that the dog was left with Isis like it normally is. No. No, he's not. Because their cats are in there. No, I know where the dog is. Where is the dog? I left it with my brother. Okay. Remember, right, we keep right. the right. you're right. changing. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, now that doesn't. That's not. I forgot too you strange, had a dog. But, yeah. Where's the cat yeah. though? In the room. With there the is. Kids. Oh, the cat. No, the kittens are there, but there's the big grumpy orange cat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that thing doesn't have. chase anything. That <laughs> was the temple cat. It's not our cat. That's not our fault. The fat cat's not our fault. <laughs> he just lives here. He doesn't eat anything. He just lives here. Um, okay. Well, I'll put a, no- a note on the pantry door. Like, note, fix, rat hole. Mm-hmm. That's, that's it. But, yep, you double check everything. It looks like the place is secure. Okay. That's all. Was there anything else before they arrive? I'd like to learn to juggle. Oh, my fucking god. Um, no. So. Uh, so when they get there, it is, uh, Maurice, Raymond, Raymond husband, and then two security guards. Mm -hmm. (coughs) Raymond husband is my favorite character. Lord Leon. Hey, at least I named my gays before I killed them. My god. He's, he's had a name. <laughs> I, I know. Yeah, what is it? He's also not dead. I just said it. It's Lord Leon. He's right yeah. there by, underneath Raymond. Hi, Leon. You make a good omelet. Did you happen to bring omelets? <laughs> Why would he bring... Don't mind Quinn. He's just dying. He He kind of like... I mean, he looks at you, Quinn, he's like, why would I carry around omelets? I'd bring eggs. Mm, fair. We probably have eggs. <laughs> he looks to Raymond, was I brought here for just omelets? 
<laughs> it's got a shitty grin again. Um, <laughs> and Raymond, Raymond hugs him and he's like, you were brought for many talents. <laughs> oh, and also yeah. Raymond's dog. I did forget about that. He's got the, the yeah. Borzy. Yeah. Dania comes in. Long dog. Are, are there omelets? <laughs> Leon's just like, apparently there will be. <laughs> Jesus. Yes. I he helped was... Mr. Raymond's husband with omelets. <laughs> yeah, Lord Leon's like, well, I'll go be the uh, trophy husband I was meant to be. And he goes in the kitchen to make omelets. Good to know what place, what role you have in society. <laughs> oh my god, Quinn. He's like, I mean, I am the pretty one. When he's not <laughs> also scrambling. omelets. But uh, Raymond like jokes he's like you don't have to you you know and yes, he kind of waves and he's just like he's like it's fine it's fine go ahead uh, but yeah uh, so you guys where do you want to have this discussion I'm assuming you want to have it in like the uh, trauma room in the kitchen, the kitchen. we're not, we're not doing it in the kitchen no <laughs> There's ridiculous. that area the with the couches and stuff. Yes. What we yeah. did where we did Isis's surprise party. What? What? Oh, that would have been in her know. room. Wait, was it in her room? I I didn't think we did it in her room. Yeah, she can't come okay. out. I mean, yes, she can. When she's she can, out, she just does right in there. Uh, no, this is where you guys had orientation. Mm -hmm. Ah. I uh, think she yeah. leave right now, but... <clears throat> so, uh, Raymond, Vincent, uh, and the two bodyguards go. The two bodyguards just stay, like, outside the room. Uh, and Raymond looks to all of you, and he's like, I hope uh, you don't mind. There's been, well, an increase on threats against my life, and... Uh, my husband has refused for me to travel about without some guard detail. Makes sense. You hear Leon yell, damn right! You're an old man, you can't kick ass anymore! Did you ever really kick ass? Raymond laughs and says, oh, oh no. No, I never did. <laughs> He's like, uh, yes. I, was, I was a nerd. <laughs> Famous pugilist. <laughs> he laughs. He's like, still am. Still definitely am. <clears throat> uh, so I know Quinn said he's going to be with Lord Leon. Did anyone else want to go there or did you want to sit in with the meeting? I am going to be at the meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I will say, uh, Quinn, Lord Leon does say, like, you can go to the meeting if you want. It might be important. All right, if you don't want help. And he says, he's like, as much as I would love to uh, force a clearly ill and handicapped man to cook for me, no, go to the meeting. Uh, the, tra the trauma makes it taste better, though. <laughs> a tromlet? <laughs> uh, not again. Look. <laughs> you know, this has all been a big setup, and you steal my fucking punchline. <laughs> he, he just kind of laughs. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, I'll go to the meeting. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, so you guys go ahead and sit down, and I'm going to just kind of go over this really quickly. Uh, <clears throat> so Raymond lays out basically what his plan is. So his first plan is to have the press conference today. Uh, he says that they're already have been made aware that he's here. Uh, they don't know about your guys' involvement with bringing him here. Uh 
just that way he can move around more freely with you guys. Although if you are at um, the press conference, that might be an assumption that's made. Um, he said, he says after that, um, he is planning, uh, he says he's expecting for the Temple of Lu to probably make some sort of reply, uh, you know, either maybe inviting him to the temple, maybe trying to come out against him, there's... It's up in the air of what exactly they might try to do exactly. Oh. Um, so he wants to kind of be prepared for that. And um, he's assuming at some point they're going to uh, tour the Temple of Lu here in Marai. And then uh, he also wants to have him sit in on one of the council meetings and uh probably be well honestly it'll probably be a couple council meetings and he lets him know fair out that he's probably going to get grilled pretty hard by the council members you know asking about um you know his denounce him denouncing the temple of lu here in marai mm. and then at the very end uh right before he goes back because this is the most dangerous part he wants to do one last press conference. Um, hopefully, and he he makes this very clear to Vincent that, like, he wants this last part to come of his own opinion. He thinks that he will reach this conclusion, given, like, all the information that Raymond knows and such. Mm -hmm. But at the very end, he, yeah, at the very end, he wants to hold a press conference Hopefully with him endorsing Raymond, uh, but at the very least, hopefully just fully denouncing the temple and like, in a word like excommunicating it from the, the true temple of Lu. Just a full, no like, fancy word split of like, you know. This is not the Temple of Lu. This is an abomination of it. Mm -hmm. This is heresy, you could say. Yes. Uh, but Raymond says, like, you know, obviously he's like, I know you are here to make judgment on that. Um, so while that is a press conference that he hopes that he will make, um... He obviously cannot force this man to decide that stuff, yep. you know? And, you know, uh, Vincent nods and he's like, no, I, uh, I appreciate your understanding with that. I will. He's like, from what I have heard, the conclusion you gave seems the most likely, uh, but I would like to see it all with my own eyes. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, Raymond then looks to the rest of you and says, uh, is there anything that you disagree with that you want, uh, for us to try to, uh, do instead? Any issues you take with it? Whatever we do, I'm going to be there. He nods. He's like, oh, they're also, I was planning on holding a, I kind of a lunch social, essentially, uh, for people to meet uh, Cardinal Vincent directly. Um, and of course, I would love for all of you to be able to attend. Just so that oh, we, some of the, upper, <laughs> just so then that some of the upper crust here can speak to him directly which might hopefully uh persuade them a bit more can we include the lower reach at all in this uh how so i don't know make a give like a public forum for the lower reach as well uh with cardinal vincent 
unfortunately, public forums with the lower reach generally don't go well. What do you mean, don't go well? Does it devolve into shouting and... Yes. It, it's so many people. That's part of the issue. I don't know anywhere where we could even host that. Listen, I've seen how the lower reach has been reacting to all this, and it's become a... a hot kettle of tea that's blowing steam anymore, and it's just gonna bubble over. Uh, Maurice actually pipes up and he's like, What about on the radio? What about on the radio? Why are you Alicia. Why are you... I'm sick, you fuck! <laughs> I'm just teasing you. <laughs> Don't hit me. I'm sick, you fuck! <laughs> I mean, yeah, no problem. That's I not mean... a bad idea. Idea. It'd be probably the closest to a public forum you can get. Uh, people could call in if they got, you know, questions directly. And they can be screened ahead of time. It seems reasonable. Uh, when he says radio, Vincent kind of, like, brightens up. And he's like, I could be on the radio? Televangelist. Oh no! <laughs> He's definitely not the first for that, though. Oh, yeah, no. but yeah. I guess. <laughs> I'd like I'd like him to at least be able to reach the lower reach and inform them that the 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 ways the things that are happening are not of Lou. Yeah. Um, and if anybody has any questions for him that he can answer for that's, you know, about Lou, he can answer. Raymond nods and he says, well, the press conference is hopefully supposed to help with that. But I do like the radio idea. I, I think that would probably be the best. And honestly, especially for all of you, the safest way to do it. Sounds good. I, I, I like this idea a lot, actually. He, he nods and he says, I will, uh, get in touch, uh, with a, one or a couple of the stations and, uh, see when we would be able to broadcast something. Uh, was there anything else? I can't think of anything right now, but I'm sure there's going to be something. Also, uh, I I am terribly sorry. And he looks to you, Skylar, and he says, uh, I, I've just been so focused on this. I haven't had a chance to actually uh, to give you a proper greeting. Oh, hello there. Uh, right, this is Skylar, our fairy. I was curious, and I, I do apologize. I at first thought you might have been a familiar. He's the size of a small child. You know, I've never... Yeah, familiar. that's the first time I've ever been called a familiar... What? He, 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 uh, you know, he apologizes. He's like, uh... No one introduced him, so I thought it was a. F I, I thought you could have been a familiar, and that's why. Oh, that's fair. That's that's a fair assumption when you put it that but way. I am very sorry. Uh, my name is Raymond Pius. No, that's Pius. Pius. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <you> Pius. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Pius. And uh, my husband that you saw earlier is uh, Lord Leon. Uh, the omelet guy. Uh, he kind of smiles and he's like, yes, and that is definitely what he should uh, be referred to from now on. He's actually, he got his title in a cooking competition 
Not really nobility, no. <laughs> Lord <There> Omelets. <laughs> Lord Omelets. Uh, and Maurice kind of gives you a wave and he's like, and uh, I'm I'm Maurice, I live here. <laughs> nice to meet you too. I'm uh, head of the Star Called and uh, I I'm also a paladin of Istis. I am neither a paladin or star called. I I mean, if you were, I would have known. <laughs> Probably. Do you it, just not... know everybody who's a start call? Is that like a thing you can do? You, you have to be here to be one. To become can one. Can you be a star called in this, in this city? Uh, yeah, it's the only way you can become one. That's fair. I had no clue. That's not Neat. true. Yeah, I kind of fell into it. For better or for worse, I guess. <laughs> so Mabel just starts <laughs> grinning. <laughs> one of us decided to be a coward and leave. Funny. Now, hey, that that's not right fair. You know Maple saw something real scary. She was talking about... No, I'm not talking about Maple. I'm talking about Val. She owes me a match. Is there any word from Val? Uh, she she got herself set up. Um, actually, a couple of the clerics went with her, and they set up a whole new temple. Oh, do you have do you have her do you have her stone? Not like um her, her number. No, she she left her stone. She's been sending stuff by mail. Oh. So you have her address? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna send her some mail. He unfriended on Facebook. Uh, I mean, sure? Dear coward. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. I am the witch of the nervous witch. But Raymond gives you a, a smile, Skylar, and he says, uh, it's very wonderful to meet you. Um, are you here with Cardinal Vincent? Are you uh, an assistant of his? He, no. He's oh, no. I'm with, oh, uh, he's with my them. uncle, cousin. Uncle, cousin, brother, man. <laughs> uncle, cousin. Man. He was friends with my mom. Ah. Oh, yeah. I... I see. Godfather. Yeah. No. Honestly, probably. probably? Godfather? Yeah, probably. That'd be funny. <laughs> Not like officially, because like, you she know. She died before he, she could actually give him the title, but probably if she was still alive. Yeah. Okay. I was but, literally thinking about uh, that. I was like, uncle? Like friend never uncle? Met my godparents. <gasps> you have a fairy godfather! I oh do. my fucking god. <laughs> <Fairy> godfather. Let's <laughs> go! <laughs> fucking odd fairy odd parents right here. Oh my god. Your dad is Crocker. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, he really do <laughs> be, though. Uh -huh. <laughs> Instead of the He's... twin fairies, it's twin uh, fucking turners. And he's like... Only one fairy. My fairy god kids! <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Alright, ah. now that we've made that horrible comparison... <laughs> it's, like, too close. It's not good. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so... Skylar uh, is pink, too. Anyways. I am blue. And you have pink wings. They're and like pink red. hair. Wait, shit, that's pink? It's pink and red. It's pinky red. Pink I thought it was purple. Okay. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, it's magenta. Yeah, I was with you on the that's pink until you said it, you thought it was purple. They're like pink to orange. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're pink to orange, which is a difficult color to explain. 
So now we know that Skylar is uh, invisible too. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I can't yeah. see Skylar. Where is he? He's invisible to adults like Chris. <laughs> And his name is Skylar! I'm going to use that to my advantage in fights. That's exactly why I said I was joking. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) But he says, oh, so you you are working, uh, I'm assuming, in hand with the star called, correct? Yeah. Well, uh, we will definitely be uh, seeing a lot of each other. And I look forward to working with you. Likewise. Uh, if you ever have any issues or any matters come up, please. Uh, I am more than happy uh, to help out anyone who's trying to do good. And he will offer you so you, you get his stone number. Waiting for Raymond to show us two colors. <laughs> cool. Lilac and purple. Uh, I want to help out everyone. Fucking this dude sus as shit. <laughs> so it's... The entire campaign. It's been three years. He's the big bad. He is the big bad, though. It's, he has to be, right? Ah, uh, yes. He's the big bad. Not the giant thing in the ocean. Mm-hmm. That's pure evil. <laughs> it's this Debatable. motherfucker. He's a politician. <laughs> Your take is debatable that my dad is evil. <laughs> sure, no. I don't think he's evil. Who who could be the big bad? Is it the eldritch horror that lives in the ocean that specifically wants to kill the goddess and uh, nope, take over one okay of guy. the team members? Or is it the gay politician who's nice? <laughs> Who could know? <laughs> Representation. I don't think the Eldritch Horror is evil. I don't think it actually understands the concept. Okay, I think it just wants fine. to eat everything. Um, Michael, I however, mean, Michael's evil. You've interacted with the Yellow King? Mm-hmm. Didn't, like, like, literally try to kill you in your dreams? Yeah. He He keeps trying to convert me in my dreams. He's... No, he isn't trying to convert you. It's more like he considers you already his possession. Yeah. He doesn't understand why his toy is broken. Yeah, it's like a... It's like you own this printer... And it keeps printing stuff out wrong or not working, and you're getting more and more upset with it. See, that's not evil. That's just trying to get the trying to get you to get through the day. The is out of printer ink. I can't print just, anything. It, what it do you keep, mean you can't print anything? Out of I'm out of blue it ink. Just keep you don't the need blue ink for some reason. <laughs> No toner. Uh, uh, have you seen this? I'm completely toned. <laughs> I I will tell you though, from your conversations with the Yellow King, he has sentience. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, no, I was I was joking. Okay. <laughs> he, no, he. Sith he, and he, Star Wars is, are actually he, the he, good guys. He's 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 the yellow king. I mean, king should already be a, a big. He's the king, therefore he's evil. He's yellow, yeah. <laughs> therefore he's evil. He's yeah. digging in the ocean, therefore see... he's evil. Oh my God, I, I see no problem with any of those <laughs> any of those assessments so far. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, he says, "Well, uh." The press conference is in an hour, uh, and it will be uh, on the steps of the council hall. So it shouldn't take too long to get there. Um, And he looks to Vincent and he says, I was hoping to go over some uh, of the most likely questions you will receive and uh, try to plan a bit of what you're going to say. And, you know, Vincent goes out and he nods, and he seems very used to this kind of stuff, like... He's been primed before. 
Yeah, I mean, he is, like, the public face of the Temple of Lu, other than, like, Lu himself. So, like, he, yeah. He's good. He goes ahead and, like, him and Raymond will basically spend uh, time just going over it. Uh, so it gives you guys a chance to figure out uh, what exactly you guys want to do. Well, if it's going to be pretty soon, we should probably figure out what we want to do for security arrangements for that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so the place that they're planning on having it is, like I said, the steps. Um, it is not necessarily the safest. It'll be reasonably safe. Like, uh, no one can approach him without being spotted. How many grassy knolls are nearby? <laughs> Uh, 15. No, there's no. Uh, however, that is, good, that is a good point. Is that it's it's Knowles. I can't believe you're racist against Knowles. My, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> good joke, though. Um, thank you. I, I thought really long and hard about it. Um, there are like some buildings nearby that are pretty tall. You might be able to spot him from. Uh, like, I guess, essentially sniper places. Um, a cat into a owl and spot those. Or you could send Skylar to fly about. Ah, yes. Oh, Skylar. yeah, we could use him like a familiar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or a drone, whichever. <clears throat> um. uh, okay. And then... There's obviously, uh, they're only going to let, like, verified press nearby, um, and kind of try to hold back the rest, so there will be, like, fencing around it to make sure that no one can get super close without being a press member. Like a sort of um, Twitter joke. So there is, you know, there is a chance someone could be in the crowd there, there's a chance they could be up in the buildings, uh, the last big... Thing you would probably think of is uh, technically if someone went into the council building, they could open up like the big main doors that no one's actually supposed to use and like technically get him that way. That'd like, be so you know, okay. from the building itself. Knowing all this, I think like while there, this discussion is happening, Nadine would turn to Iris and say, Iris, can you help me guard this guy? Sure. It's because it's because at this point, like, there's so many hazards that the best hazard, the best way to prevent a hazard is to just have the fix on hand. And I'm sorry, but you are literally the best the fixer, fixer I know. <laughs> that's that's fair. Yeah, I can I can stay close. Yeah, and. I'll just be on the lookout for bad guy and beat bad guy into pulp. I'll go um, and disguise and counter spell if I can. If it's magic related, that'd be great. I will say there also is a chance technically that they could be among the press. Yes, which would be great. Um, oh, no, we fireballed the press. Um. <laughs> Oh no! I, I have a. a I'm, it, this is it, and this is happening for the press conference for the actual like reveal, essentially, right? That's what we're talking about. Just making sure we're on the same page. Here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So the press uh, do know that like he is going to be here. They were mm -hmm. made aware of that. Mm -hmm. Um. So there is a chance that the Temple of Lu knows. Honestly, probably pretty likely yeah. at this point, but they would have mm. only just found out this morning. Okay, with that that being said, then, uh, do we all just want to do this together instead of, quote-unquote, splitting up? I think uh, we should yeah. do this first. Yeah, at least this specific first one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so let's all, let's all pick a, quote-unquote, job to do. Because I'd like to know where everybody's, where is everybody's mind is when it comes to uh, how they would 
be able to protect this guy. Said mine. I think Maple should also be next to the guy just in case, just in case they try to shoot him. Because Maple catch things. Ah, uh, true. Catch the bullet. True. I mean, <laughs> if there's before. anyone who's gonna catch the bullet. I have before. <laughs> I miss throwing it back. Yeah, just your bullet. Get down, Mr. President! <laughs> Literally. Um, I'm not sure if I can catch bullets if it's on other people. Let me check. You can't. I might give you a chance if you knew, like... You're actively you know, trying to do it. When you were hit by the, it, yeah, defending yeah. Okay. the guy. Yeah, yeah, it's a reaction, too, so... Um, okay. Which, in that case, Skylar... Uh, you are only fly person. Can you be invisible? I sure can. Can you watch from above and be our eyes? I mean, yeah. Can't fly that fast, but yeah, but you I can, can see. fly. <laughs> also, be detecting magic. I don't know if I have any specifically useful skills for this endeavor. You you are our long range explodey person. All right, I'm going to go be a sniper myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See? I'd say either that or um you might be good inside the building. Mm -hmm. That was the other thing I was uh because honestly, your chair itself could probably block the door. True. <laughs> I'm just going to go Ooh, take a nap in front of the doors. You can't move. Arc, you're big you can't How fast is your chair? Fast. Like 60 feet. Yeah, it's really fast. It's fast. You, 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 could, you, could, you could hop out of the chair and give it to him in an emergency. Oh my god. That'd be so fucking... <laughs> <laughs> get the chair I'm just president. imagining yeah, like something happens and like Quinn comes out in the wheelchair Come and on. like Maple just grabs Quinn, throws him out and puts <laughs> him in it. Oh no. The she wouldn't throw on the him. Floor. She would I also want to remind you all because I think this is very important. You guys also have the very, very good motorcycle. Yes. True. Wait. Iris, you should bring the motorbike. <laughs> Just ride okay. in there. Ride in there with him, you know. It would be the fastest and quickest way to get out. Yep. There's also a, a public way. prize that we won. There is nothing that could keep pace with it. Yeah. And there's and there's nothing that could be anywhere as cool. Do we have an extra helmet? Sure. Safety's important. I'm I think <laughs> Skylar can literally like clap his hands and a helmet would appear. Like. Perfect. Skylar, can you just shit out a helmet for me real quick? <laughs> yep. I, I'm glad we escalated from uh, clapping to shitting. <laughs> Seemed necessary. You're welcome. Um, Someone please remind me to cast Sanctuary on this motherfucker once we yes. get there. True. Yes. It, it is. A, it. I don't. I think it only. Does it only last a minute, or does it last longer? Uh, yes. uh sanctuary. It's a minute, but I'll burn oh, it's one. like some slots on it. I don't care. Okay. Yeah, sanctuary would be really good for this. Do it for his speech, and then and then drop it uh, uh, outside of it. Cause, yeah. Because we need. We're gonna need your spell slots probably, if anything happens. Yeah. I wish there was something better we could use for it. I was looking. I don't know that I have anything better. Calm I emotions. Isn't the type that gets extended duration-wise on upcast, is it? No. Uh, no. Here. Okay. I'm glad I checked that. My DC Calm went emotions. Up and I didn't realize. Eat. Definitely carry calm emotions with you. All right, so do we want me to be rooftop sniper or just sitting mm -hmm. inside the building in front of a door? Uh, mm -hmm. inside the building. He's <laughs> mm -hmm. a door I want jam. Both of those things. How long would it take for me to tinker his little wheelchair to make it hover? 
It, it already, already does. does. It already does. Like, it just fly, fly. Like, fly. as an like, actual fly. Oh, take out the oh, safety ass? feature? <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> I would 100% oh, take out the safety hell yeah, feature. brother. Okay. Uh, I will give you an option. <laughs> to take out the safety feature, uh, I'd basically have you roll a check for it and you could do that in an hour. To make it safe for him to fly, that would probably take uh, two days. One hour. Again, with checks each day. How much do I care about him? <laughs> How that's much completely up to you. I would give you the option. But like I could do it now. In an hour. But yeah, it'd be kind of like iffy. Or I could do it like two days and make sure I check my, you know... My math and make sure it's done properly. So I'm be... definitely pro you making it so I can fly. That sounds fucking rad. <laughs> Do we need me to be able to fly for this? Like, is this a thing that is? I don't think that's a good. I have idea. a question. I have a question. If you were to cast invisibility on Here it does on, no, it does. on Quinn while he's flying in the air, or while he's in the wheelchair. Uh, would the wheelchair be invisible? The wheelchair is something he's attuned to, I believe, right? I don't necessarily know if I'm attuned to it, but I believe by law of uh, following equipping appropriate it. disability wow. terminology, it is a part of my outfit and attire. <laughs> I, I would count it, yeah. Okay, so yeah, no, that's perfect. Just cast invisibility on the two of you and then just fly up there. It lasts for an hour, so it's kind of like... Sure, fuck it. Uh, if you take out the safety features for now, could we later do it the safer way? Or... I'd say there have to be an extra check to put the safety features back on, but yes. Break them. Sure! That's funny. You want us to... You think we want to be safe again. I mean, I... If the options are unsafe and flying and safe and flying, I will take safe and flying. That's like, stupid. I'm not... But what if it's Quinn safe and want flying to just die. or unsafe and faster and flying? Well, well, yeah. I mean, is this going to slow me? Am I going to get a speed boost in the dangerous way? No. Um, so if you remember, the wheelchair already has a feature where, like, if you're going too fast and stop suddenly, you can, like, fly out. And thaw a seatbelt. I mean, that would help. There are some speeds where, like, that's just gonna fucking hurt no matter what. And you won't Better have, being like, flung out. airbag. But that will still be an issue, uh... If you're flying as well. And there will be... It's not designed to let you control your vertical height as much. So that's going to be a little iffy. Basically, you can fly, but I will probably require checks for the flying. So that could be perfect. But... All right, go ahead and roll me uh, Tinker Tools. Does, does, is this something Quinn wants to do? Yeah. Okay. Qu Quinn believes this... in shortening his lifespan even further. <laughs> <laughs> this could, would this be considered a skill check? This is def This is like textbook so definition like, of a skill check. If I had to use Flash of Genius, I could. Yes. If it All affects right. tool ones, yeah. It just says cool, skill skills. checks. Okay. But it's yeah, it's, right, well, yeah, it's tools. skill check. It's, uh, tools are 28. skill checks. <laughs> Would adding yeah, five more to that make any difference? I mean, I think you can just do it and it doesn't, like... I don't think there's a limit on that, right? What? Uh, Flash of Genius? Yeah. I, I think it's just once. Or, I mean, I have a, up to my proficiency bonus, but... Uh, I'll just uh, link the skill. Your intelligence modifier. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I mean, like, you're, you're good. You're good. Yeah, I <laughs> you're wasn't good. sure if, like, adding five to that, making it a 33 would make any difference. 
Probably not, because it's okay. not. Yeah. But you you go ahead, you find the safety feature pretty easily, uh, and you go ahead and disconnect it, so. I, I like to picture now that the, the removing the safety feature takes one minute. Putting the seatbelt on takes 59. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I'm not, like, safety. Like, I mean, what was a seatbelt? What the? What's the, what is you this don't crap? need a seatbelt. Just go in a direction. Just hold on. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you humans in your non-flight. Can't you fly by? I guess you can't. All right. <laughs> Flight explained to him. Wah, wah. All right, I'm ready to commit death. Nice. Yep. Um, uh-huh. I'm going to for the hour. I'm going to unattune to my gloves of thievery and reattune to the cloak of many factions. Okay. Just so I can change what I look like and what I'm wearing to match the people who are already guarding him. Okay. You talking about the security detail? Yeah. Okay. I want to blend in. I want to look like them. Yeah. Uh, they're essentially wearing like a... It's the... They're wearing, like, this kind of black leather armor. Nice. Or, not leather armor, but, like, a black chain armor. Ah. Oh. Okay. You know. I mean, like, you can just make it look like chain armor. Yeah. It won't, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'm gonna look uh, like a TM generic human. Okay. You You look like a TM generic human person. Yep. Uh, did you guys decide where exactly everyone's going to be for this? Like, is anyone going to be in the general crowd? That's me. Uh, Kira. Kira, okay. Is anyone going to be in the press conference crowd? I don't think so. Okay. I mean, I, if Nadine wants to be up in the cra- up on the stage with him, I could go into the... <laughs> Into the paparazzi crowd and just look like one of them if I borrow the camera of uh, the priest. That's true. Uh, I will say then uh, you wouldn't have any opportunity to catch anything. Yeah, that's the only thing. So do we want to leave the press alone? or They will be supposedly verified. What, what if we put Nadinia in the press crowd? Like... Uh, you can. You're pretty fucking fast. Like we can get you onto the stage. True. Pretty, and you. You're the one who does the least instant reaction level reaction to an issue. So if we want someone there, I think we would put Nadinia. If that makes sense. Also, it's a place that you might expect some more security. So. Fucking Nadinia might be <laughs> might uh, not be too strange to have up there. I don't know. I think it'd be kind of strange to fuck Nadinia up there. But, like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's another thing. <laughs> don't die. Look what you did to no, Jamie. I just triggered my cough again. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> okay, why am I getting fucked on the stage? <laughs> Apparently, Noah doesn't think it'd be that weird. To get fucked on the stage. Okay. No, for you. Noah? Is there (laughs) something you want to explain? (laughs) No. No, I said what I said. So, I was talking about me going into the press conference crowd and blending and asking Mm -hmm. of them, and then... uh, Alex said that you would be better to go into the crowd there because you're really fast and if shit happened on stage you'd be able to get there in time. But you have the least reaction to shit happening immediately. Like you're not going to catch 
a bullet or heal him. Split oh, second. I see. I see. Yeah. I see. Then I, I said it. it would be the least strange to have her there because fucking Nadinia is, you know, not yeah, easy to hide. No, it probably wouldn't be easy to hide. Yeah. Stop. So, I also, yeah, that, I that also, is what I said. Um, I also, this also happens, so, you know. Shit kicks off, I'm just like instantly running towards towards the danger. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I, mean, I think she's actually quite reactive. Yeah, I mean the press is not that far away from him. Like there is some space, but like mm -hmm. you could probably very easily get up to him. Uh if not within I mean definitely in one turn if you sprint it. Mm-hmm. Are, are we all good on your guys' plan? Yep. yep. Seems good so. to me. Okay. Uh, so you guys go ahead to the press conference. Uh, Before we get into that, Marissa, are you dead yet? I mean, I'm getting there. <laughs> Is this a good stopping point before you die? Sorry, Whoa. I've been having like nightmares all week, so I haven't been getting to sleep. Oh, oh no! No, you're I'm fine. So I'm also still getting used to like going back seven hours in time. Oof! So yeah. I'm I'm tired. Sorry, we can okay. we can, we can pause here then. <laughs> yeah. Alicia, <laughs> Alicia, we something. need your voice back. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, My cough is back. I no. Speech. I think so. I've been doing pretty well. The medicine you, I took. Finally you started. Are sounding better. Yeah, yeah, it's... yeah, you are sounding better. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying. I would rather yeah, you be at a hundred. God damn it, my cough is back. I haven't coughed all day. No. Right. Drink some cough syrups. <sighs> okay. Go take some uh, let's go ahead. And uh, we will put a pause on here and come back to the press conference. So I feel like yeah. shit's gonna Hold happen up. and I know my consciousness is starting to go a bit fucky. Okay. Yeah. I kinda right. hope something happens because it'll be cool. Yeah. Alright, title, title and then people go to sleep. Okay. I had to 